the first draft for Matt Patricia uh, with his a partner in crime, Bob Quinn. Um, this draft was just when a, when a rookie head coach comes in, they want to draft for and set an identity for their team. And if you know about Matt Patricia, me being a Patriots fan, he's been with this organization since 01, um, or since 01, way back, uh, defensive coordinator since, you know, 20, 2011, 2012 area. And he also coached offensive line back in the day. So this is a guy that really stresses up front. And I think what the Lions did do here um, is they really made their offensive line a lot better and they increased their depth on the defensive line with also adding in a running back. So um, the Lions, I felt I gave them a B. Um, Frank Ragnow can be their center basically right away. He, he has flexibility to also play guard, played in Arkansas. Uh, Apparently, there's a really good relationship there between Arkansas and Bob Quinn and when he was talking about this draft. Uh, I think the Lions just got a lot better because they not only added a running back who's talented in, in Karan, uh, Karan Johnson from Auburn, who has kind of that ability to be a shifty back, um, and he, he has a lot of flexibility in his game, catching the football, running the football. He could be their lead back this year. We'll see. They also have LeGarrette Blunt, Amir Abdullah, Theo Riddick. They have a lot of different guys to add to that that um, backfield. But Kron Johnson gives them another talented guy there. But you give Ragnow not only to increase the, the quality of the run game, but also help protect Matt Stafford. So that just makes the offense that much better. Then you go to a guy like Deshaun Hand from Alabama. Uh, he could probably help their depth on the defensive line. They, I do think the one thing they missed out on was, again, like the Chicago Bears, a pass rusher. I do think they need someone other than Ansaw to get after the passer. But again, this was a weaker draft for the for pass rushers, so it's kind of hard. Um, and they did have other needs to really go to. Uh, they got Tracy Walker at strong safety, and this is a guy that I think will be used very similarly to like a Patrick Chung. Uh, he has a lot of different versatility just in terms of what he can do on the back end. And I think um, overall, the Lions did a pretty good job with addressing some of their needs. Tyrell Crosby, I also thought, was a steal in the fifth round from Oregon as offensive tackle. So I think overall, the Lions just increased their their uh, depth on the defensive and offensive lines and did a really good job with their offensive line in this draft. Yeah, for me, for me, it's a B minus. I like what they did offensively. I just don't think they did enough. Um, uh, obviously, you need to keep Stafford upright. They, you know, Karon Johnson, I think is going to be a great back, but did they really, you know, maybe they saw value. Did they really need to take him? Because this defense is the issue and only drafting two defensive players um, mm -hmm. it, it is an issue for me. Um, like, you know, obviously Darius Slay's awesome, but they're not very good. I know, obviously they, they brought in Deshaun Shedd, who's, you know, who. Like, I thought that they should have drafted a corner in the first round. Yeah, for sure. And if you look at it too, like they, you know, they're not very deep at corner after I like Glover Quinn. And then, like you said, the pass rush, man, like they have the, maybe the biggest no name defensive line besides Anza in the league. I think that Patricia's kind of used to that. No, but Anthony Zettel, a Sean Robinson and Jeremy Ledbetter is your starting defensive line. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, and, and you know, maybe, I just haven't scouted enough that these guys maybe are good, but I'm guessing that if they've been in the lead the last couple of years and we don't know who they are, not even have heard of them, uh, I think that might be an issue. But like you said, Deshaun Hand could get a lot of snaps on that other defensive end position, uh, maybe some D-tackle reps. But I just think it was B-minus because I think they, they needed to go heavy um, def defensively because what has been their biggest problem is, is not closing out games, and that defense has been such a big issue. Um, and I think getting Karen Johnson, yeah, that's great. But I think, you know, I'd have to look back and see wh who was taken after, which we always can do later on. Uh, but I think they probably could have got some sort of impact uh, defensive player around that same position rather than going Karen Johnson, who I think is going to be a great player. Uh, but I think you need to fix that defense. But maybe this is more of a draft where – um, cause looking at this, Mitch, looking at this defense, this defense yeah. is going to be bottom 10 in the league. Easy. You know, oh, ho hopefully Patricia can do something, but just looking at it on paper, it's, it's a bottom 10 defense. Yeah. I think they have some decent guys in the secondary, but yeah, oh, for obvi sure. obviously their, their front seven is a little weak. Um, but 
like I said, I think Matt Patricia is kind of used to using talent that is not as good as maybe uh, some people would like and kind of elevates that talent. So I don't know if it was a matter of him kind of and, and Bob Quinn saying, let's get the offense right, and then maybe next year we can focus on the defense or what that really was. I, I did like some of their signings at the linebacker position this offseason, but yeah, I definitely agree. They need the pass rusher. They could have used another corner. But I thought overall they this was about identity in this draft, and they went out and they increased their depth on the offensive line and, and got a running back. So I think the running game is going to be a lot of a bigger, um, bigger aspect of this team this season. 